Hey, it's Steve. I'm on the road again. Getting back on uh, Route 40 here, heading to uh, Brown Mountain. Got to go look for the Brown Mountain lights. And I guess I should really be in that lane. I'm probably the wrong damn lane here. But uh, just heading out. Just going to see what's going on. Let's speed in front of these people here. here to who I don't know and back on 40 I just stopped I made a pit stop here stretch my legs uh, it is Saturday I'm gonna get up there hopefully by about 1 you go out to start doing some interviews Let's figure out the spots I need to be for the uh, uh, Scenic views, the overlooks and stuff like that were the best place to see these lights. Now, I don't think you see the lights on a regular basis, so for me to just pick a weekend, but people have asked me to go out and do this, so I'm excited to do it. It's, uh, at least it's a, it's a destination. It's up in the mountains. Uh, it's Bigfoot country, paranormal activity, UFOs. I mean, so it's right up our alley. So uh, I go out there. I brought uh, lots of uh, video equipment multiple cameras. I have one that's got uh, night vision. Uh, it's you know, one of my old Sonys. I think it's one of the last pros that actually had it. So I'll see what I can pick up with that. I brought a telescope. Nothing fancy, but it's a telescope that I can mount my iPhone on. So, uh, whatever. You know, and I brought some uh, thermal cameras, too. So I got a little bit of everything. GoPro was a backup. You know I hate my GoPro. Pain in the butt issues with it. Okay, get over one lane. Let me drive them for a while. But uh, my next stop will be to get something to eat. Stretch my legs again. I'm driving the Honda CRV for this trip. I uh, left the wife the big gas eaters. She's going to do a little local shopping. But this should save me roughly a hundred dollars just on gas driving this thing. It's, the gas is back up roughly 350 we we'll be paying sometimes more i imagine the mountains more but uh so it's just pricey it's just you know i like having the big beasts and having more crap than i possibly need but uh in this case uh i'm just bare minimum i'm not carrying camping equipment i'm not going to camp I normally have everything with me. So if it's just a little bit of food stuff, basically just got it, I can't find some place to eat. I got some oatmeal and rice and stuff like that. Just simple stuff I can cook up. I think I brought my instant coffee. I don't know. I'll double check. If not, I had a dollar store and get those little individual packs. I'm going to have my coffee in the morning. Uh, I called up a couple of places to find a place to stay, thinking that this would be easy. It's the beginning of the uh, cold weather coming in. Not thinking it's the mountains. Everyone's going up there to see the leaves change colors. So I had a hard time finding a place, but I grabbed the place I actually stayed at 10 years ago when I was first up here looking for property. It's just kind of a basic motel, nothing fancy, which is fine. I mean, I just I need a bed, some basic heat, a shower, and I'm good. Hopefully some internet. Who knows? If not, we'll make do. Uh, I don't even know if my phone's going to work there. So. But. Another road trip. I'm going to try to keep the cost down as much as possible on this one, too. Do it cheap. So if I have to do it. more meals in-house, I'll do that. Basically, the one out meal I'm planning on doing somewhere along the way is going to be... Burger King. So they have the Impossible Burger. So it's the closest I get to eating meat. So and that would be like a ten dollar meal. Getting their special. So maybe just under. But that'd be about as fast as I'm planning on going. But uh, just checking out, see what's around me here. I'm bad when I travel. I I'm, my days are just trying to drive, and not stop, and I got a whisker tickle me here, and uh, are over. Now if I see something I want to stop, I just stop. Stop, stretch my legs. I'm a sucker for flea markets or anything like that too, so I'm not gonna see much on this road. 
but once I get up in the mountains on those uh, secondary roads, I'm going to be going through neighborhoods and stuff. That should make for some uh, fun and interesting stuff. Uh, I don't have anything plugged in the GPS now. I'm just going to drive on 40 for quite a while. Once I get into uh, you know, Winston-Salem sort of area, I'll worry about punching it in, decide which route I'm taking up into the mountains. And uh, the scenic, the better. That's about it. Got myself a new one of my new Bigfoot hats I'm going to be wearing out there. I'll see you later if I can retract this seat next to it. So I'm not normally filming in this vehicle, so I don't know how the tripods are going to fit, how it's going to work. And as you can see, I already got a box behind me with junk, and I'm going to cut that down. I'll shorten that. But I always carry more shit than I possibly need, but then you always end up forgetting something. I'm psyched about this. It should be a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I got a full video coming up. I already filmed myself the day before loading up, showing the kind of stuff that you bring. And that would be kind of the beginning of the video. And then I'll do some video of me shooting. So this is the iPhone, just a whole separate quickie. And uh, so I'll hopefully get a nice big video to get that one. Probably won't post till probably Monday. So at least, you know, two, three days out of imagining them. If I can get any other little videos in, I will. Another reason to carry multiple cameras. And I'll shoot what I can on you. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Everyone be good to each other. I'll talk to you guys shortly. Shutting up.